boy Kingston, man. Just jumped in the trench with the shooters. Kickstand, what's going on, my boy? Shit, same shit. It's day studio vibes. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, talk to us, man. Where did you get the name Kickstand from? Shit, I got it from my boy, uh, D. Hill. I don't know if y'all know him, man. Ten time producer, uh, platinum producer, man. Mm -hmm. It's really my boy. He gave me the name. I got you. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into that early, man. How did you get connected with D Hill? I know he got one of the hottest records with um, Future and uh, Drake. Drake, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, really on some family shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he came to some folks on my dad's side. Uh, linked up with him when I moved down to Georgia, Harvard, Georgia. And really wasn't even on no music. She was on some family shit and then got down. Race was history. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Um, so Anderson, South Carolina, is that where you from? Hey, yeah. Okay. Anderson, South Carolina. Gotcha. Um, is D Hill, he from Anderson as well or? He from Hartwood, Georgia, north northeast Georgia. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Alright. Um, so what really got you into making beats, man? Should keep it real. Bro really put me on everything to the beats. You know what I'm saying? I was into music though as a child, but as far as beats, he uh, really started that interest for me. But music, you know, I feel like everybody from a baby, you know, they interested. You know, gotcha. They interested in music, so I've okay. always been there. Gotcha. Um, at what age would you say you you started making beats, um, getting into music? Um, on some high school shit, like probably like seventeen, sixteen. Shit like that, teenage shit. Okay. Um, was you were you in the band growing up in high school? Yeah, or? nah, yeah, nah. I mean, I was in the music class, but shit, I wasn't even really into making beats like that. But no, nah, really no shit like that. Okay, gotcha. Um, so how long would you say you've been making beats? Got about six, seven, eight years. Okay, about ten years, probably. Gotcha. All right. During that time span, uh, what are some of the artists that you've worked with? Um, I worked with a lot of local rappers <coughs> out of uh, Anderson, South Carolina, where I'm from. Shit, list goes on. Uh, Trip, Scully, Hella Ben, Gizzy, Blitz, DBIC, Beezy. Shit, damn near everybody, bro. Uh, as far as big name people. Uh, Got some shit on the way with Future, Guap Tarantino, I got some shit with Hood Rich Palo on. Okay. A lot of uh, Atlanta people, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, yeah. Um now I know you I know D Hill he he produced in Atlanta, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um what are some of the producers that you guys have worked with um in Atlanta? Uh DMC Global, uh Gutta Tay, uh Chi Chi. Really, that's about it. That's that's all who I work with personally. But he don't work with uh, a lot of them. There may be a few that I'm missing, but for the most part, I like, say DMC, got a tape. Uh, shit, that's it. Okay. Now, <clears throat> working with these industry artists, uh, have you actually been in a studio making beats with these artists, or are these just? Beats they you send them through email or yeah, yeah most of the time it's it's I'm in the studio with them and they cooking it up or I'm cooking it up you know what I'm saying and they'll be like yeah that's what we want to do for I just cook up a pack of beats right down in front of their face and they jump on all of them you know what I'm saying okay yeah, yeah shit like that okay so what's the experience man what's the experience working with these artists are you do you get to you know do they ever ask you to go out with them during this time after or after the studio y'all hit the club like what's the vibe like yeah i mean shit really i ain't gonna cap when, when i'm in there or when i was in there with my buddy here we was locked in like eight hours ten hours you know what i'm saying so we might go we might go in in the daytime come out at nighttime yeah might go to the club you know what i'm saying or yeah. might fuck around be in the studio all night, come out, it's in the morning, you know what I'm saying? So a nigga might go to sleep or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's really, ain't no telling how the, how the vibe is, you know what I'm saying? Okay, gotcha. 
Um, what's the the top five artists that you've worked with here in the upstate? Top five. Uh, got to say, got to say. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say there's no order. Uh, Hella Ben. Uh, Hella Ben hard. He got some. He he's been going. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's steady, been strong. Going crazy, crazy. Yeah, that was going crazy. Who y'all said? Hella Ben. Hella Ben. Uh, shit. Top five. Beezy. Uh, Beezy hard too. He's a producer as well, right? Nah, he just uh, he's an engineer. Okay. He rap too. Okay. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, Trip, Triple Cosar. Nope. Scully. Mm hmm Shit. Shit, I'm gonna get the last one to him. Got I'm gonna say Blitz. 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 Yeah, Blitz. Yeah. That's Blitz a good hard. Hey, that's a good top five right there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I can agree with that. Um <clears throat> so if you could work with any any industry artist, what would who would it be? Number one, I got to say Future. Okay. Can't lie, goddamn Future the GOAT, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't Future, goddamn Young Boy, you know Okay. Uh, that nigga going too crazy. Dope. Has any, uh, has any artist asked you to be their main producer or? Yeah, yeah, man. All the time. I get that all the time, you know what I'm saying? Some people I'm willing to work with, but <clears throat> most of the time, I ain't really with it, you know what I mean? I fuck with people off the strength of me fucking with them, you know what I'm saying? But as far as like all oh, oh, that old signing labels and shit, I really gotta fuck with them and yeah. have, you know what I'm saying, like a relationship with them, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Some shit like that. Gotcha. So you really just wanna be independent. You like how you're doing it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. yeah, yeah. Um What steps would you say would you give to an artist um as far as purchasing a purchasing a beat? Um, okay, this is good one right here, this is good one right here. First of all, have your knowledge right, man. When you come to a producer, have your knowledge right. You know what I'm saying? You got to know what type of beats you want. You know, it's all type of different beats, like exclusives, leases, exclusive leases, all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, shit, have your bread right, too, you know what I'm saying? If you want to hit, you got to put some money into you, to your music, you know what I'm saying? Have your bread right, uh... And, and, and just, you know, don't bullshit. A lot of producers not working with these motherfuckers too because they bullshit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people hit me up on the word, I don't, I don't need the money, you know what I'm saying? That's like, right. you know, if I see they not bullshit, I mean, if I see they bullshit, nine times out of ten, I ain't gonna work with them, but really just have, have your business, like, you know, have the knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but, um, explain to these artists the difference between leasing, um, I know everybody should know what buying is, but, mm -hmm. you know, leasing a beat and just buying a beat off YouTube or just downloading a beat off YouTube, yeah. like, what comes behind that as yeah. far as promoting it, getting paid for it, um, et cetera? Okay. Shit, well, when you lease a beat, it's really like, shit, look at it like this way. You rent an apartment, that's like you leasing. Can't have, you can't own that house, you know what I'm saying? Just you can't own that beat. You just leasing it for a certain amount of time, sell a certain amount of units, or however the contract explains what the lease is. Uh, exclusive beat is you own you own the beat, however much percent the producer give you. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time it could be 50 or it could be 95, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just like. You own a car, you drive off the lot, it's yours, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the difference owning and really renting. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, scrolling through IG, um, I, I, I seen you got you and D Hill on a private jet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, explain that experience, man. How was yeah. that? Man, that shit was crazy. Hey, first time on a plane with a private jet, fool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really can't explain it. Like it, it's, just, it's just crazy. It's just blessed, you know. Mm -hmm. Blessed. My boy got to live his life and got them took me with him. You know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy, man. That's dope. That's dope. Um. So and you guys went to where do you guys go? Rolling out, went to Florida, Miami, Florida. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, I turned up out there, uh, cooked up with Chi Chi, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Locked in, really, about four, five days straight, you know? Okay. You so, is that the only artist that you guys met with out there? Any any other artists that um, you see? It was... I really can't remember. I don't think we met up with no artists. It's just straight producers. Okay. Yeah, straight producers. Chi Chi, okay. that's a little baby producer. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You guys get that? Chop it up with your baby yeah. and then. Oh no, well we we ain't see Lil Baby, but definitely got some beats with Chi Chi. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so when would you say you first really start getting paid from making beats? Me or just in general? Just yeah, just you in general. Okay, <laughs> shit. Uh well, first off, in order for a producer to get paid off of, you know, what do you mean like when the artist drop or as far as a per, uh rapper buying a beat? You know what I'm saying? There's multiple ways to get really paid, like. Well, yeah, so like, both, both okay. ways. Let's see. let's see, just buying a beat okay. and getting paid from an artist. Okay, right? okay, so just say if I never make it in the industry, I could load up uh, all my beats this website called BeatStars and distribute it that way. And as many rappers they want throughout the whole world can buy my beats, you know what I'm saying? It don't have to be uh, big name artist, and I can just run it up like that. But as far as if a big name artist drop a song, you know, it's shit, it's, it's paperwork and shit you gotta do, like split sheets, and you gotta monetize your songs, and really it'll just roll in yourself when you get a lawyer, and labels, and managers, and all that, they'll handle it for you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're working with some good people. But, but like I say, you really don't, they don't, big name artists, they don't really buy beats like that. You really just more of the back end, so. You know what I'm saying? Ship them out. Beats. Whenever they drop, the back end gonna start rolling in, but you've got to make sure the paperwork is straight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the paperwork, if you ain't signed no papers or nothing, you're not getting paid. You're not getting paid. You're not getting paid. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, what so let's see. Well, who do you think would be a great versus battle, man, in the upstate? I see a phone, then I fall. I tryna jump on the ball. I tryna jump in the drawers. Oh, I see a phone, then I fall. I tryna jump. All right, we back at it with Kickstand, man. So, who would be a great versus battle here in the Upstate, man? Hmm, great versus battle. Okay, I'll probably say uh. Good one started off would probably be Scully. Okay. And uh Scully, Scully versus TCM. TCM Million, I'd like to see that one. Okay. Um another one, I think I'd really like to see Blitz go against DBS. That'd be dope. That'd, That'd be, be dope, dope too. Uh, yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's a couple more. It's a couple more I ain't naming. Let's let's see. We can't forget, uh we got Tripper. Yeah, Trip, Trip. Uh I'd like to see Trip go against it really ain't. Lock it. Lock it. That's a hard it, it, it really ain't a lot who can stand over my bar, but I really, I like to see him go against Skelly too. Really. Okay. Yeah. That'd be dope. Yeah, okay. Um. Okay. So who who really inspired you, like, to make beats other than D Hill? Is there any other like major producer like Zaytoven? Yeah. You. you you like Zaytoven? Um, yeah, uh, Zaytoven's probably my favorite, you know, that inspired me. Uh, you got Southside, 808 Mafia, uh, TM88, 808 Mafia. Uh, my peers, you know what I'm saying? DMC, Gutter Tate, uh, it's shit. Really all of them, you know. I see Gutter Tate, he, he's uh, jumping on us. He's got a lot of artists mm -hmm. in his group. With your Molly Quill, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they going crazy. Okay. Um, what would you be doing right now, man, if you if you wasn't making beats? Boy, I really I, I think about that shit all the time, bro. Ain't no ain't no damn talent coming from my hood. Ain't no talent, probably. Ain't no damn talent, bro. Yeah. Music really saved me. I probably be goddamn working a job, slaving, or goddamn in jail or dead, fool. Like, ain't no talent. I'm glad I do this shit though, for real. Gotcha. Growing up, did you have both parents living in the home? 
Nah, I ain't had both parents. I ain't had both parents, but uh, I know my dad. You know what I'm saying? Look at you. Know what I'm saying? But they went together, type shit like that. Alright, uh, what artist has the most streams or plays off one of your beats? Um, uh, got to say, uh, Pauls. By my boy Spook, Spook Diesel, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Pauls going crazy, that shit really going up. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's Spook Diesel, he's been going hard too, steady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Alright, um, let's see. What was, what was the numbers like on that? Yeah, what was the numbers on? Uh, it's still going up right now. I think it's on like 20K right now. But mm -hmm. uh, them all authentic views, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? No robots, no fake views. Yeah. That shit going on. And um, that's about it, man. Okay. We're going to... Um, so I just, I we're just going to do a wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, well, we're going to... We're going to... Do a walk through uh, uh, bro, what he got, you know what I'm saying? What he got going on, you know what I'm saying? In the studio, because this studio pretty big. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Let us know what, what you got going on, how you be cooking up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, cooking good. up no kickstand beats, you yeah, feel me? That way. Studio man, uh, it's like the studio, you know what I'm saying? That's why I work. That's why I get busy, you know what I'm saying? A room, you know what I'm saying? Uh, B room over here. Sure. Uh, right, workspace right there, the booth right here, you know? Slide the studios. You know what I'm saying? Zach? This is what we do. You know what I'm oh, this thing has been oh, God. Man, how long do it take you to cook the beach? Shit. Like, yeah. 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 Don't take that long, you know. 10, 15, 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? If, it's, if I'm really, you know, want to make a hit, about an hour, you know what I'm saying, to the max. You know what I'm saying? That's how this shit made. Where are them trenches we are?